Hey guys, this is Abhishek from Gadgetstreets.com, and today we are going to do a quick comparison of these two affordable phones which we have with us. We are going to compare the Motorola Moto G3 with Samsung Galaxy J5. Both of these phones are very close to each other in terms of the overall price, and they are very affordable as well. We are going to compare them and find out which one is better in terms of camera, which one is better in terms of the overall day-to-day -day usage. I have used both of these phones and I have reviewed them as well. So I will be talking about my own perspective what do i think about these two phones on different things which are kind of similar so let's start with this comparison and find out which one is better and why as per your needs let's start with the comparison of these two phones we have the samsung galaxy j5 over there and we have motorola moto g3 on this side and again you can see that both of these phones look very nice in terms of the overall look and feel the white one actually has white bezel on the moto g3 and same is the case with the Samsung Galaxy J5 as well. As far as back is concerned, you can see that the back is better over there on the Moto G3, which has got a texturized back panel, which will give you a very nice grip when you hold this phone in hand. And it has also got a special feature on which I'm going to talk about later. Talking about the back of the Samsung Galaxy J5, you can see that we have a matte finish back cover, which is again very similar in terms of the look and feel which we have seen already on other Samsung phones. Again, this one is slightly different in terms of the look if you even if you compare it with the Moto G2. So Moto G3 definitely has better looks, a better back cover, which will give you a very nice grip when you hold this phone in hand. And this phone is kind of curvy at the back. So you will feel better when you hold this one in hand as compared to this one which is kind of a flat back panel and again it is not slippery but it is not that comfortable as Moto G3 is when you hold it in hand. One more feature which is very special on the Moto G3 which is not there on any other phone including the Samsung Galaxy J5 at the same price point at which this one is available that is the water resistant feature. So the Moto G3 is actually IPX7 certified and that means you can actually submerge this phone inside water till the depth of 3 meter and it will still keep on working. That is a very unique functionality on this price budget whereas the same is not possible on the Samsung Galaxy J5. So in case if it goes wet for some reason then it will be dead but this can actually survive even when you dip this phone inside water and it can easily resist to a splash of water which is the case talking about the rear camera we can see that we have 13 megapixel camera on both of these two phones we have dual true tone led flash over there on the moto g3 and we have got a single led flash on this samsung galaxy j5 and a 13 megapixel camera over there the loudspeaker is there on this side on this phone whereas on the moto g3 the loudspeaker is actually on the front which is definitely a better design so in terms of the overall design and the look and feel moto g3 definitely is a better phone compared to the samsung galaxy j5 which we have on the left side let's take a look over the overall ui and as far as ui is concerned we have a very close to stock android ui on the moto g3 which is very responsive and smooth and again it gives you a very nice performance in day-to-day -day usage as compared to the touchless UI which is also much more responsive and smooth but it is not that responsive as we have seen on the Moto G3 as far as UI response is concerned. Again when we talk about the front we can see that we have the physical home button over there on the Samsung Galaxy J5 but the same is not there. There are touch capacity buttons which are there on the, on the Moto G3 but they are within the display. On the other hand Samsung Galaxy J5 actually have them in the body of the phone. They also have touch pass buttons over there, but they do not have backlit LED. So there is no backlit LED on these buttons. And over here, we can see that there is a full compromise on the buttons. They are actually within the display. When it comes to the top, you can see that we have a nice metal key piece over there. A nice metal key piece over here as well. And we have proximity and embed light sensors on this device. We also have that over here. One more thing, which is actually an advantage on the Samsung Galaxy J5 is that you have got LED flash. So LED flash is there on the front camera as well, whereas the LED flash is not there on the front camera on the Motorola Moto G3. Talking about the rear, the rear has got flash on both of these phones. On the top, you can see that in terms of the overall thickness, because of the curved back and because of the IPX, 7 functionality or certification this phone is slightly thick so Motorola Moto G is definitely thicker compared to the Samsung Galaxy J5 which we can easily notice but again this one becomes better in terms of the overall grip and the overall look and feel as well is also nice let's find out the weight of these two phones and we will just find out the weight by putting both of them one by one on the weighing scale 
let's find out the weight of the Moto G3 and it is around 153 gram let's find out the weight of the Samsung Galaxy J5 and this one is 146 grams so Samsung Galaxy J5 is definitely lighter but not ultra light or there is a minor difference in terms of the weight in between these two phones which you have just found out talking about the back cover the back cover is removable over here and one good thing on the Samsung Galaxy J5 is that you can remove the battery so there are two good things till now on the Samsung Galaxy J5 that you have LED flash over there on the front camera you can also remove the battery which is actually an advantage in case the phone hangs and then we have two sim card slot over there both of them support 4G and we do have a micro SD memory card slot as well talking about the Moto G3 the back cover is removable on this phone but the battery is not you cannot remove the battery on the Moto G3 which is the case and this phone is actually having a sealed battery inside so you cannot remove the battery but the sim card slot over there also support 4G both of them support 4G and we do have a micro SD memory card slot as well so in terms of connectivity both of these phones are equal they also have the same hardware as well so both the Motorola Moto G3 and the Samsung Galaxy J5 actually have Snapdragon 410 which is on which is a 1.2 gigahertz quad core CPU but in terms of the storage they are slightly different and we will just find out we have the 16 GB variant of the Moto G3 which actually has 16 GB of internal memory and 2 GB of RAM and we have the Samsung Galaxy J5 which is available with 8 GB of internal memory and 1.5 GB of RAM so the RAM is actually higher over there and this is the third point which is better on the Samsung Galaxy J5 that you are getting more RAM as far as the available RAM is concerned let me just find out the application scenario over there and show you the current status of the RAM so we have approximately 1.5 GB of RAM and out of that around 638 MB of RAM is free and if we take a look over this one this one actually is the 16 GB variant so this one is also higher in terms of the price compared to this one but if you compare the price of both of these if we compare the price then 8 GB variant of the Moto G3 is actually equivalent to this one which will have 1 GB of RAM whereas this one is giving you 1.5 GB of RAM and on this one if we take a look over the application scenario so for the 16 GB variant of the Moto G3 you will have to pay approximately 13,000 rupees whereas the 8 GB variant will come for only 12,000 rupees and on this one on the 16 GB variant we can show you the current status of the RAM approximately 1 GB of RAM is free because this one has 2 GB of RAM so you can actually compare the advantage of paying what price and what you are getting as far as RAM and storage is concerned uh, you can take your decision based on that I'm not going to compare these two as of now on the basis of this but again you have three main points which is the LED flash on the front you also have removable battery which is actually a good thing and you also are getting more RAM for the same price on the Samsung Galaxy J5 whereas on this one we have some good points like this is water resistant which is actually a very unique feature you are not getting that feature on the Samsung Galaxy J5 and this device has a better design better build I would say uh, may, may not be better built because this is again plastic but better design definitely and it gives you a very nice grip when you hold this one in hand and one more thing which is good on this phone is that you are getting the loudspeaker which is there on the front so in case you are watching a video and you place the device like this on a table the sound will not get muffled because the loudspeaker is there at the front and on this device the sound will get muffled because the loudspeaker is actually at the back side but there is a slight bulging out of the camera thing as you can see over there which will make sure that you can still hear the sound but still the overall loudness of the sound will not be that good as you will see on the Moto G3 especially when you block it we will just find out how good the camera of these devices and how is the video clarity so we will not basically compare these devices on the basis of benchmark because both of them have the same hardware and different UI so benchmark figures may vary but let's find out the current sensor information and what all sensors you actually have on these two phones and then we will head on to the video playback quality and the camera section as well so first of all we will run quadrant standard on this one and find out the current sensor information and here we have the system information loaded on both of them and if you take a closer look you can find out the 
sensors which are much higher and this device is actually kind of equipped with all the kind of sensors you would need it has three axis accelerometer sensor magnetic field sensor orientation the gps navigation is also going to work much better on this device much more precise i would say it has ambient light sensor proximity sensor it has some additional sensors as well which include the flat up and flat down sensor so that you can actually make the phone silent by putting it like this and you can also launch the camera by twisting it like this all these uh, all these functionalities are powered by these sensors you also have a chop chop sensor with which you can actually do it like this two times and you can turn on and turn off the flash talking about the samsung galaxy j5 this is kind of uh, uh, low in terms of the sensor department because it has accelerometer sensor, proximity sensor, orientation sensor only. And there is no magnetic field sensor on this device, there is no gravity sensor on this device. So, sensors are less on the Samsung Galaxy J5 as far as uh, if, if you actually need these functionalities which are possible with these sensors. Let's take a look over the video playback clarity and we will play a video from our channel on both of these devices and we will give you an overview of how good is the video clarity and how loud is the loudspeaker on these two phones so here we have the same youtube video loaded on both of these two devices and as you can see this is how the display look like on both of them we will just play the same video and we will also increase the volume of both of these devices to full so that you can find out which one is louder and which one is better in terms of sound quality we have also set both of these displays on full brightness you can see that over there so both of them are on full brightness and we will just find out which one is better. Let's play the video on this device which is Samsung Galaxy J5. And this one gives you good viewing angles I would say. So viewing angles are nice. You can see the display from this angle as well as from this angle without any issues. And this is really nice. Let's take a look over the clarity on the Moto G3. So this one is also nice I would say but this is not that bright and not that colorful compared to what I was seeing on the Moto on the Samsung Galaxy J5. So Samsung Galaxy J5 is better in terms of wing angles. The display is definitely better in terms of wing angles and in terms of color protection as well. Talking about the loudness I can play both of these devices one by one in full volume and let me just confirm whether I have full volume on this one. So this one is full volume and Moto G3 is also on full volume. Let me play both of them one by one. So both of them are kind of equally loud. I would say there is not much of a difference in terms of the loudness and you can actually feel that after listening to this one as well. So in terms of loudness I would say both of them are equally loud and as of now what is good is that you have loudspeaker over there at the front because the loudness is actually slightly higher over there but still when you place it on the table the loudspeaker is actually getting blocked that is why the loudness is not that much but if I lift it the loudness actually increases and on this device on the Moto G3 it is fairly loud but not very loud. So both of them are very close to each other as far as the loudness of the sound is concerned. Quality of the display is definitely better on the Samsung Galaxy J5 compared to what you get on Moto G3. That's all from us as far as the quick hands-on comparison of the Motorola Moto G3 with Samsung Galaxy J5. In case you have questions and queries which we have not answered in this video, you can leave your questions and queries in the comment section below this video. You can like this video if this video helped you by clicking the like button below. You can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this video. This is Abhishek signing off. Thank you.